everybody welcome back to my channel welcome to another grocery haul in today's grocery haul you're going to see three places they are food lion safeway and giant i am still sticking to a hundred dollars per week for the month of march and so this is what i was able to pick up and so so far it from food lion and from safeway i've spent a total of around 63 dollars so let's start right here with Food Lion. At Food Lion, I spent a total of $34.44. Here's what I got. So this week, Food Lion is running a deal where if you buy two, you get one free. So I picked up three of these Ritz Bits crackers. They are so yummy. They were two for $6.00. So I picked up a third one, making these $2 a piece. It was the same deal on the Oreos, which is probably the best deal because these Oreos ended up being $2 per pack as well. When you buy two for $6, you got one free. The Minute Maid juices are on sale for $1.67 a piece. So I picked up three of them, three for five, Berry Punch, two berry punches. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought I had gotten a tropical punch and then a peach punch. All right. Next, we got some milk. I needed a half gallon of milk. I like to try to always keep that on hand. This was $2.24. And then they also had these Flex Force um, Glad trash bags on sale for $7.99. I normally buy my garbage bags from big box stores, but I was not going out to BJ's or Costco or Sam's uh, to pick up just, uh, you know, trash bags. Like I said, I'm sticking to that $100 for the week for the month of March. And I know if I went into any of those stores, spending $100 would have simply been too easy. And I probably still wouldn't have gotten everything I needed. So also at Food Lion, they had these chicken thighs marked down. And also the ground beef. Chicken thighs were $4.45. The ground beef was $2.39. This we're going to cook right away. And then as well as the chicken also. So you'll probably see both of those in my meal plan. Now moving over to Safeway. At Safeway, I picked up these two tomatoes. They were 99 cents per pound. For the two was 61 cents. Then this was my freebie for the week from Safeway. You could either get a salt grinder or a pepper grinder, and I always need pepper. So I picked that up. These were back in stock. Uh, the seasoned pretzel uh, twirls. This is the Safeway brand. And it is truly comparable to dots and less money. So I picked those up. This was on a clearance, the Italian vinaigrette dressing for $1. Picked that up. Can't wait to have a nice salad with that drizzled over it. This was also on clearance, the roasted garlic aioli. This, it can be a dressing, a dip, and a spread. This is on clearance for $1.75. On the digital deal at Safeway, Intamin's Donuts are $2.99, a limit of four, but uh, I really didn't need this one, but $2.99 is an amazing price because these generally run around $6 when they're not on sale. Then this was on sale as well. We always like the Geno's East deep dish pizza, the gooey mozzarella and cheese. My daughter and I love this one. She's home, and we're going to cook this one uh, probably tomorrow for lunch. And so this was on sale from $9.99 on the digital deal to $6.99. And then the last thing I picked up from Safeway was Tide Pods. These were on sale for $9.99. And so at Safeway, I don't think I said, at Safeway, I spent a total of $28.69 for the items you see here. All right, hold on for Giant. Here is Giant. 
at Giant. I spent a total of $44.42, and this is all that I got. I think I found some pretty good deals. So to start here with the garden salad, the garden salad was $3.29, and the mozzarella cheese was two for four dollars. The black tea was two dollars and eighty nine cents. The on the go containers we didn't really need these, but I thought it was a good deal. These were a dollar eighty four cents. You get six in here with six lids. We can always use those. The coffee. I've never tried Starbucks Premium Instant Coffee, so I decided to pick this up because it was on sale for $6.99. I'm not really good with making instant coffee. I really depend on my Keurig, but I thought I'd try this. The Coffee Mate Zero Sugar. This is the vanilla cream, French Vanilla Creamer. Didn't really need this as well. I have about a half bottle in the refrigerator, but the last last time I bought it, it was like $5.89, but this was on sale for $3, so I thought I'd pick it up. The palm drinks were on sale 10 for 10. This week, I only got five. Still trying to stick with in budget. Remember, we're doing $100 per week for the month of March. And so I picked up, like I said, five. I picked up the honey green tea, three of them. And I also picked up the passion fruit with tea. And so picked up two of those, five. I'm going to carry those with me during the week for lunch. Then they had these snack bags of chips on clearance. The corn chips, chip dippers, were on sale for $1.59. And then these two bags of potato chips were on sale for $0.74 cents a piece. So I picked up two bags of those. I'm going to be sharing those with my students um, at school. Couldn't pass up the cabbage. This cabbage was like a dollar and one cents. Um, they had these on special for $0.27 cents per pound. And so that was an excellent buy. I always like to have cabbage on hand because it lasts a long time and it makes really, really good side dishes, whether you parboil it or uh, cook it in the pot or steam it or fry it or whatever. You can do so much with a cabbage. So that is an excellent price. And it freezes well once it's cooked. I picked these up with for my daughter. She wanted uh, some Hungry Jack mashed potatoes, or not even mashed potatoes. She wanted the hash brown potatoes. But when she said Hungry Jack, I assumed it was mashed potatoes. They didn't have Hungry Jack, so I bought this Idahoan. And lo and behold, this was wrong. She wanted hash browns. So, but it was $3.19, and so I'll still use it. Even though I have a ton of potatoes, I'll still use this. But this was something she was going to take back to school with her. It'll just go in the pantry. They had a great buy on this bone-in but portion of smoked ham. Their price for this was $0.77 cents per pound. And so from sixteen seventeen, I got this large ham for $5. I think I'm just going to... Go ahead and cook this and have this for the week and also freeze some after it's cooked. The paper plates were $2.99. These cookies, vanilla, mini, I've never tried them, the mini vanilla bean cookies. These were $5.99, but they were marked down to $1.50. I think I'm going to take these also as well to my students. And then the last thing I purchased was this for my daughter to take back to school. This is the plant-based chicken nuggets. They were on sale 50% off. So this bag was $1.99. So yeah, this is everything I picked up from Giant. Please continue watching. I'm going to share with you a meal that I prepare from my meal plan or either from the haul or both. Here is the meal we're having. This is the chicken thighs that you saw in the haul. I put them in the air fryer 
But before that, I topped it with some Louisiana Nashville hot seasoning, which is delicious. I also roasted some broccoli in my toaster oven. And then it's over top of a bed of ramen, the chicken flavor ramen. And so, yeah, this was absolutely quick and easy and it smells so, so delicious. I can't wait to dig into it, but I hope this is an idea you can use as well. I think I'm going to top it with a little bit of sweet chili sauce, just to add a little bit of sweetness to that savoriness. And um, we'll see what we, what we get. Uh, I think it's going to be delicious. But anyway, use this idea if it appeals to you. Keep watching for our meal, meal time. Here is our menu for the week. This is a menu that I had planned out about a couple of months ago. So I just decided to go ahead and recreate this because I have all of the ingredients in the house for this. And so on Monday, we are going to have the Trader Joe's orange chicken. We're going to have Tuesday roast beef and cheese on brioche and fries. On Wednesday, loaded nachos. I am going to do the crab because I have some extra crab meat in the freezer. On Thursday, we're going to do our Alfredo pasta, shrimp or chicken and broccoli. Friday, fajitas. Saturday, shrimp spring rolls, or we'll eat out. More than likely, we'll do the spring rolls. I just bought some. And then Sunday, the enchiladas. And I saw this recipe to use, uh, instead of the tortilla, you use cabbage leaves. So I think I'm gonna try this enchilada dish with cabbage leaves and fill it with probably the beef. And so this is everything. You guys hear my ice dropping in the ice maker. But this is everything. I hope it's you can snag some ideas from it. Also, another place to snag some ideas from is my Instagram page. It's called Meals on My Mind. And a lot of times I actually go back to my uh, Instagram page and get more ideas. And so I have about maybe 300 dishes on there. Most of them are ones I've cooked. Some of them are the ones that I've gotten from restaurants. But either way, I use it because it gives me some ideas of things I might want to eat in case I have no idea. So I hope that will help you as well. Again, it is Meals on my mind, all one word. And so, yes, everyone, thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on. Thank you for subscribing and commenting. And until I see you in the next video, be well. Bye-bye.